Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial video. Uh, in this video, we're going to just do a quick uh, video on uh, Planar, the Planar tool. I know I talked about it in the previous video. I think that was with the, the free image plane, but I didn't really go into a lot of detail with Planar. This kind of did it really quick. So I didn't want to disadvantage you with that. Uh, so let's say, we'll just make any general shape here. This could be any shape, um, you know, a guitar. I'm working on a guitar right now for another tutorial and that's going to take a while um, because there's a lot of work to make a acoustic guitar. Uh, a lot of work. Um, so, but it's a lot of fun. So, in this tutorial, um, let's just say we're going to make just a simple elliptical shape and I'll kind of go into, you know, just how this tool works in general. Um, I'm going to use the orthographic view just to draw with the CV curve tool. Just make a kind of a odd looking little circle like shape and complete it using the snap two vertices that you can find up here. And <clears throat> hit enter. And uh, so, you know, you can always right click over this object and you know you can ed edit the actual vertices if you want to and you know push and pull them um, but when you're done let's just say this was the shape you wanted in general and you're like okay well now I want to make this the guide for um, my geometrical object so to do that make sure you're, you're in your modeling section here and then go into surfaces <clears throat> and uh, go into planar go to your options box click on that and you know it's going to really de depend on what you want to use you want to use NURBS or polygons I like polygons they're just easier for me to work with um, you can use this for you know objects you can use this for um, plants you can use this for just about anything um, you know, this is really great if you needed a, um, like we talked about free image plane, if you needed to draw a leaf, you can use this to use the CV curve tool to draw, you know, an outline for the leaf. And then from there, um, use this tool to literally project like polygons, basically, uh, or a plane, I guess, I guess that's what maybe planar, you know, might be for, uh, now the, there are, there is a little catch though. You know, if you are going to do it based on a count, which, uh, you know, you have general or a count. I like to use count. Um, that way I have a little bit more control of how many polygons there are. Okay. Uh, so in this one I have quads. So that means four-sided uh, polygons or, you know, four-sided geometry within your polygon object. And then we have it based on the count. So the catch is, you know, you might have it set for 100. Let's try it out. So it's not too bad, you know. There, are, you know, there is some three-sided geometry possibly in here. Um, you know, the catch is basically this: is that let me undo this real quick. Is that basically when you decide to, you know, accomplish this task? If you if you have a really low poly count, things might happen when it's so low that Maya just goes, oh. Well, you only gave me 21 polygons to use. I This is all I can do. If you're doing little poly objects, that's fine. Um, you know, um, if you have a little budget for polygons because of memory or that's what the project style is, that's great too. Uh, just know that, you know, at one point, you know, if you're going for a highly detailed object, you want to ramp this up a little bit. You know, I think we, what we had at 100 before, I think. And... You know it'll be easier for it to follow but you know as you can see it's still a little you know not quite so not quite spot on so we'll just push the, the cursor up a little bit so the higher you go the higher detail is you know the easier for Maya to say hey all right yeah I can get this done you know I'll follow it spot on to the curve you know um, so that's a catch for it but the problem is too the more polygons you add it's going to add more memory consumption. Remember, Maya basically calculates, you know, 
math to tell you that hey this is going to be a 3d object you know and uh, so per every polygon so the more polys you have the more calculations it's going to take the more memory it's going to pull the more time it's going to use so just keep that all in mind so you know it is a two-dimensional object right now but you know you can always go from there and let's just see face selection and oops wrong extrude uh, you can go into extrude here under the edit mesh tool so you can turn it into a 3d object now just be very careful with this because sometimes going from a two-dimensional object Maya can get a little confused they'll be like oh wait you know um, turn off of course you snap two here All right. and so you, you can extrude it just be careful because sometimes things go awry when going from a 2d you know a planar image to a 3d object Maya can get a little confused and it'll just corrupt your geometry so you might have to just go back anyways and build it from another method such as just extrusion you know extruding from you know an actual you know like one of these guys here so by the way cool little tool gear and uh, that's what I'm really excited for you know right now I'm doing the guitar tutorial and it does have gears in it um, and you're like gears in a guitar well I did find an actual gear in there so <laughs> Um, it's the part of the you know the parts that allow you to tune your guitar str guitar strings. Um, so I found a gear in there. Anyways, a little side note there. Um, so you know eventually, even though that we've gone and made a planar object and extruded it, you are going to have to go and um, you're going to have to clean up this geometry. So either you're going to have to use like merge, so we select vertice or vertex, I should say. Um, you know you have to really think about your choices of what you're going to be doing here you know you have to select one two and then go into uh, merge now just remember though like I said the choices you make in this to make it a four-sided object can have severe consequences you know so just be aware you know so you know, you know we want quads but we just made a triangle so there's a lot of problem solving when trying to fix your geometry you know like there's another triangle right here the little tiny one and here so you know um, this is kind of the intense process of you know cleaning up your geometry making sure it's clean uh, if you need symmetry you know that's part of it too uh, symmetry is one side is the same as the other you know now it's not symmetrical more than likely you know because we cleaned this side up a little tiny bit even though we caused another problem uh, but those are some things to think about um, and planar is a very powerful tool so thanks for watching guys and uh, hopefully I'll post that guitar tutorial um, either sometime today or tomorrow uh, right now we're just in the process of building it step by step to get it ready for you okay thanks guys